Shirley Orleys, hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, big news, big news. Let's just go straight into it. We're flying to Australia tomorrow. I'm so sorry that I haven't been on YouTube. It's so dusty. Uh, it, this, the dust in the air is giving the dust on my YouTube channel. I know I've neglected you. I've been saying this for months. I think when I'm filming, when I'm recording a podcast with Sam, I totally neglect you. I totally neglect YouTube, but I want to give you so much YouTube because this month we are spending the month in Australia. Tomorrow, me and Sam and my mom are flying to Australia to see my family finally, and I'm so excited. So I have lots of travel tips that I got from you girls and this is really just like a products video of the things I can't live without and the things that I have to bring a hundred thousand miles away I, like I couldn't I couldn't go without them and I don't really trust that I'll find them over there even though I made a TikTok of my non-negotiables and I got loads of comments from the Aussie girlies I'm obsessed with the Aussie girlies and they were commenting all the info for me that there's obviously Sephora and Mecca like there's loads of amazing shops over there it's I'm sure a lot better than Ireland. We know when you're just used to your stuff, you know where to get your stuff, you know where to order from, you know when to get it fast. So I, you know, I just got all the goods that I know I'll need, but I'm very excited to shop over there as well. I look like a dancer. I look like a dancer. I look like a, but not in a cool way. Not in a good way. I look like somebody who's trying to be a dancer who can't dance. Anyway, so let's go straight into it. Let's start with the travel bag. So I'm thinking, I've already got makeup on it. I'm thinking, I got this in Uni Glow and I'm thinking, I need to take that off. I'm thinking this is gonna be my little essentials bag for the, so it's a seven hour flight to Dubai and then like 14 hour flight to Sydney. Um, nervous, but so excited. And of course I'll bring you with, we'll probably make like a TikTok vlog, but the whole of Australia is gonna be vlogged. Don't you worry, actually, no. Not, we're not just saying TikTok, it's gonna be here as well. We're gonna vlog everything. Sam's gonna be cameraman. He's really working a shift, okay, on this trip. He's He's been hired, okay? He's already hired in my life as cameraman, but I told him, babe, Australia's got a give, okay? We need cameraman on on the job, 24 hour. You're not, you're not gonna, you're not getting a break, okay? So I'll divide this video into sections so you can skip along if you don't need the travel essentials. But I got loads of amazing tips from you girlies about the travel to Sydney and the long haul travel. The first thing that was said that, okay, sorry, that's my passport. The first thing that I could, like everyone said, and I couldn't go without is flight socks. I'm a sweller. I absolutely swell uh, just for the fun of it, especially on a flight. And my ankles when I did Thailand when I was younger with the girlies, me and the girls when we were like 21 did like Thailand, did the Thailand trip and it was chaos. It was amazing, but it was chaos and I was swollen. And then we were running through the Dubai airport on our way home and I was miles behind because I couldn't run because my feet were so swollen. So flight socks are essential for me. This is going to be like my cosmetics bag. I'm not fully packed. I'm basically packed. I'm flying tomorrow, so I'd want to be packed. I didn't sleep a wink last night. There's other bits for this bag, but a lot of air hostesses are the girly whirlies, and I'm obsessed. So if you're an air hostess, are we still saying that? F flight crew, cabin crew, cabin crew. Let me correct myself. A lot of cabin crew follow the girly whirlies, and I'm obsessed. Also, ignore my tan. I'm stewing in tan today. A gorgeous gal told me to get nasal spray, so I got myself nasal spray. It's like a travel nasal spray. Just, I think it like blocks out germs and stuff. I just don't want to get sick. I'm already kind of feeling like an itch in my throat, and I just don't want to think about it. So we got nasal spray. I also always need eye drops, and I have these Optex. They're like a prescription eye drops that I get when I'm in the UK, because I think you can get them over the counter. Yeah, you can. That's how I have them. So I love having eye drops with me. I'm kind of prone to an eye infection as as well touch wood because i haven't got one in a long long time but i just have to travel with them laneige lip mask of course it's the sleep mask but i use it night and day i have a mini la roche pose which absolutely has to come with me i love that it's mini i got that in a french pharmacy i'm pretty sure um you know i love a mini and it's just so handy but i'd be bringing full size otherwise hand sanitizer of course claw clip of course i have another eye uh drops or eye spray soothes and lubricates dry eyes associated with allergies i don't know why i put that in there just you know we'll go with it act before i always need you as well so this is very much the stuff i'm definitely gonna need on the plane and i also got a cerave hand cream my hands i think i'm getting eczema on my hands and um, my mom gets really bad sensitive hands and i think that's starting for me too oh and then let's do the mini let's do the mini mist i'll pack the mini mist we gotta smell good and maybe the mini body cream what's that one Oh, shower. Oh, a shower cream. Oh, perfect. Okay, three. 
You're coming with me. Of course I need a good eye mask. This is the drowsy mask. It's expensive. You don't need an expensive one. I'm sure there's lots of like dupes, but it's just like a pillow all around your head. Like it's, it's fabulous. And especially for a long flight, it's stunning. And it really does block out the light. So a good sleep mask as well. I am, I'm a noob. I'm a noob to the Stanley Cup. I literally just arrived home to this. Thank you, Brian Thomas. Brian Thomas now has Stanley Cups and they sent me this. It was at my door and I, so excited so everyone also said to bring your big thing of water and have the cabin crew fill it for you so stay hydrated especially because my swelling and i'm also going to bring diora light sachets to keep hydrated it's like electrolytes and stuff also just for hangovers and i'm going to bring some revive active i won't bring all of them obviously but i'm going to bring a I'm gonna bring a good a good handful, especially on the flight. I want to be having Revive Active. They're just gorgeous. They just really help make you feel alive and well, and it's just all your vitamins. It's a support supplement that contains 25 active ingredients working in synergy to help tap into and unlock your full potential. Everyone said sleeping tablets, and my doctor, my queen, did give me Valium, so I'll keep you posted on that. Oh, she's such an angel. She's like, are you nervous? And I was like, Honestly, yeah. Like I was like, honestly, being on a plane for 14 hours, yeah. I'm a little bit fucking terrified. I don't get claustrophobic, but the, like I do when I feel like I'm stuck in the same place for a very long time. Like when can I get out of here? So Valium, thank you, queen. Masks, I wanna be doing my skincare. Like I wanna be looking after my skin. So I got these Star Skin VIP eye masks. I have this magic mask from Eden Medical cause they did my BBL Moxie facial, which I've told you about. It is stunning and this is like a recovery mask so that would be stunning on the flight so I'm gonna have them with me as well. Let's move on to more toiletries but like this is just like gonna be my skincare bag for the whole trip. So I showed you this on my TikTok. This is my favorite deodorant in the world is the Kosas, Kosas Sport Chemistry AHA Serum Deodorant. So it's like exfoliating. The chemical, the chemistry part of it is like the AHA is getting rid of your dead skin. And that's like what makes you smell is like the dead skin that's building. So that is amazing for getting rid of old skin and also like keeping you really fresh and amazing. People also said to bring, actually, sorry, I want that on my flight, in my flight bag. People said to bring a spare pair of like knickers and I'll probably bring like an extra pair of, I'll probably change into like Lululemon leggings and a, a fresh t-shirt. I think I'll want to change between flights. My big La Roche Posay, because everybody knows I need that in my life. I have a mini Sarah V SPF, Beauty of Joe San. But on my TikTok video, all the Aussies said that I'm gonna need to get Australian SPF because the Aussie sun is just so strong. Uh, people seem to think this isn't gonna be strong enough. So whatever you say, girlies, I will get my SPF in Australia. I have a mini Biologique Recherchere Lotion P50W as my exfoliant as well. I also have the mini Cordelie mask in case of breakouts. I wouldn't do that on the plane though because I don't want to be like extracting stuff on the plane. Like that would just be dry too drying. So that's just for the trip in, in general. I didn't get a fresh bottle of road cleanser and I'm kind of nervous that it'll run out, but it'll do me. And then when it runs out, I have my CeraVe. And I'm also loving the beauty of Josan. I hope I'm saying that right. It's Korean skincare, which I love. So it's a cleansing oil. I've started using oil to remove my makeup. So I'll double cleanse with this or I'll double cleanse with the CeraVe. Um, I love a cleansing oil and this one's been very good to my skin. My skin's loving it. My skin has been doing great since the BBL Moxie. I actually feel like it's almost, it, I, I wouldn't say gotten rid of the perioral dermatitis because if I was to put acids or exfoliate there, that area, the perioral dermatitis would pop up immediately. So I just mean the BBL Moxie Facial has like tamed it and it's not active right now unless I was too upset. So I really have to look after it. Okay girlies, it's time to discuss makeup. If I could bring a whole suitcase of makeup, you know I would. So this is tough. So this really does, I guess, Going away for a month really shows you what you can't live without. So my makeup moisturizer is always Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. It's expensive, so I kind of hate saying that that's my moisturizing cream. Like the Ombre Lease has a dupe. Like there's so many different creams you can use before your makeup. So not important, okay? On it, like I love it, but it's expensive, okay? What I will say is an absolute need and essential, especially for going to Sydney bronzing drops. I'm gonna bring both because I'm excessive. Drunk Elephant bronzing drops. Do you know that? Have you heard of these? I don't know, like I don't think people know about these. I think like they're 
They're kind of low key. Like they're, you know, they haven't gone viral or anything. I feel like they're fully stocked now though. I feel like they got their production back on track and I feel like they're not as difficult to get anymore. Um, but if you can't get your Drunk Elephant drops, I do love the Say Sun Glow drops. These are also stunning. Oh God, that's really running out. Oh my God, there's no point to me bringing that. Okay, okay. No, the Drunk Elephants will do me. Okay, I'm going to leave that out. Drunk Elephant will do me. As another bronzer. Okay, I'm going to be in the sun and I want to be bronzed. Especially because I, I don't want, like, you want to SPF your face the most. I'm obviously going to SPF my body. But I, you don't want to get colour in your face too much because you don't want to be damaging your face. So I'm going to be needing to bronze up my face to match because I'm going to be wearing fake tan as well. I'm stewing in fake tan right now. Um, and I don't always put fake tan on my face because I'm just nervous of it clogging my pores and breaking out. So another bronzer, but it's not bronzing drops. It's where, it's, you know, where you contour and where you bronze. This dibs. What's it called? Unbothered bronze. Okay, it's this big, chunky, stubby thing of a bronzer. And I'm obsessed with this, okay? I'm obsessed with this. I blended in with the Refai Duo brush. To pack my bag of brushes. Oh, fuck, I did clean them though. I will blend it with my Refai. You always see me doing that on TikTok with the Refai brush. And it's amazing. If you don't use bronzing drops, you could just do that in your bronzing areas and it, it's almost doing the same thing. I'm obsessed with this bronzer. I also love the Clinique chubstick, but I got a rash in here. I can't bring everything. So you are coming with me. I love you. So I'm so sorry for the channel on my hands, okay? I'm gonna bring a Hollywood Flawless Filter. Any kind of skin glow. I love the Dior one as well. Let's go with Hollywood Flawless Filter. I might change my mind later, but that's what I'm that's what I'm going for. A skin glow, but I have to bring the Huda Beauty powder. If I'm wearing Hollywood Flawless Filter in the heat, I gotta be, I gotta be, I've gotta be powdered. Okay, I've gotta be powdered. This is peach pie. I love peach pie. The color of peach pie is stunning. I also always show you the little mini one. I don't know where that is right now. I'm sure it's in a handbag in the suitcase. The mini one of this, perfect. But I just wanna bring, I wanna bring the big one with me. I can't speak English. I can't, I can't, whoa. Okay, girls, I get dibs on Revolve. That's where I've been buying dibs beauty. This duo stick, I mainly love it for the blush. That's the blush color beautiful for the sun and there is a bronzing side as well this is shade two i cannot go without these i cannot go without these you saw me buy these in paris and i cannot live without them the forever glow maximizer i am bringing pink and peachy i'm you know what i might bring all four i might bring rosy and bronze as well because i just love them so much they make the skin look so glowy we're really going for like a no makeup makeup over there and that's, that's the glow. Bronzing drops or the Eau Blues. Oh wait, I want them as well. Stunning, look how wrecked she is. I've had her a long time. Bronzing drops and the Eau Blues. Absolutely stunning as a combo. Or the bronzing drops and the Dior Glow. Beautiful combo. As I went inside, I did pick up something else. I need my nude sticks. I need my nude sticks and I need Sun Kissed pink and I need crimson lover yeah they're coming with me I can't I can't go away without them I love my nude sticks and I love those two colors in particular YSL skin tint obsessed as a skin tint it is stunning shade seven is what I'm using but I feel like I could do with a deeper shade in the sun so while I'm over there I might end up trying to find it but that's okay Otherwise, we've got a lot of bronzers to work with, so don't worry. Another skin tint I'm loving and I found in Paris is the Caudalie one. There's a lot of skin tints I love. Some are fried as well, but this is like my main one. Like Desert Island, right now, I'm obsessed with this one. Fuller coverage, nights, long day. If I want fuller coverage, we're going to do Laura Mercier. It's tough. It's tough. You know I love Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Maybe I'll bring that as well and I can mix. But Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation stunning it's just stunning okay it, it's stunning and it's very buildable so you can use a tiny bit you can use a lot of it whatever you whatever you think whatever you want that's the foundation that's coming with and the concealer coming with again hard to choose one but we're gonna do laura mercier we're gonna do laura mercier real flawless weightless perfecting concealer so it's like the matching i'm gonna bring two n1 and one n1 even though i probably don't use one n1 over there because that's probably too light maybe just two n1 refi brow gel always Oh, I got my brows done. I got my brows done today by my Queen Laura Ward. Got my lash tint by Sarah Kinlock, my queen, because we were going to do a lash lift, but my condition isn't great, so we did a tint. And I got my hair done by the Craft and Drum, and I got my toes done. I'm being spoil rotten. I got all, I'm spoiling myself rotten. I got all my bits done. Um, what next? YSL Lash Clash in brown. So it's number two in deep brown stunning 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 new favorite mascara 
love 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 i love her i love her a lot and she doesn't fall down my face she'll be good for me in the sun i hope she won't be melting in the heat i mean i've 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 high hopes of course we're bringing the moon dust palette urban decay oh urban decay moon dust palette she has all the gorgeous colors including space cowboy we love her very much oh i need to grab a uh, eyeliner kazoo are you joking oh my god the color this shade what is she this is their new one watermelon sugar watermelon sugar hi okay like perfect perfect now girls i am going to be bringing a thousand lip products i have more here hold on i'm going to be bringing my road and i'm going to be bringing my road phone case i love all my road lip you know that um i'm loving I'm loving the Huda Beauty lip liners and I'm loving the Kylie Precise lip liners. I'm also loving the Makeup Forever lip liners, which I get them in Sephora when I'm away because Sephora is not in Ireland, which is illegal. Uh, I have Warm Brown here by Huda Beauty and Deep Rose here by Huda Beauty. I have Whatever Walnut, Whatever, Wherever Walnut Makeup Forever and Completely Sepia by Makeup Forever. I definitely have more. Oh, I got a Dibs one as well, which is lovely. I have so many lip products. I'm bringing the Anastasia Beverly Hills glitter that I showed you, ample glitter. <laughs> it's amber glitter, but I thought it was ample. Uh, and I got that in Sephora as well. I have so many lip products, so many lip products. I love the Armani Power Lip 111. She's like my perfect nude. It's always nude, girls. It's always a nude lip, you know me. I never go anything, I never do anything too exciting or too fun. It just doesn't really suit me, I don't think. I'm going to bring the Kylie Cosmetics Eye Palette as well. Or the Makeup by Mario one. Okay, gorgeous. I have a fresh Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Honestly, I think I'm allergic. Like, I sneeze every time I put it on. But I kind of need it. Like, I need it. I need it. So, sacrifices. I'll just spray my allergy spray afterwards. My nasal spray. I still have more. The fact that I still have more, this feels so wrong. But, like, how am I supposed to go for a month? And I'm high maintenance. And I know that. Okay? So, I'm bringing tan, of course. Bella Mianta. Um, I need to glow, glow, glow. I'm bringing the Sol de Janeiro Copacabana Bronze as well. It's like a body oil. I'm going to bring... I need a big moisturizer. I'm going to bring the Sculpted by... I could buy one over there, but the Sculpted by Amy Body Moisturizer. You see the weight. I need to start thinking about weight. I have my Caudalie SPS, and I know you want me to get Australian SPS, but I do just love these, and I'm just going to bring them just to have them, and then I can get the better SPS while I'm there. I have the Roche Posay Antelios as well. Oh God, girls, I'm bringing way too much. Oh my God, Sol de Janeiro have their new SPS as well. And the Angels, um, the Irish Sol de Janeiro Angels got the ascent to me. Hold on, I'm spilling. I'm so excited for these. I don't think they're available just yet, but they will be very soon in Ireland. Um, sunscreen worthy of your skin. Rio Radiance SPF 50 body lotion, stunning. And this is the body oil, gorgeous. And I think there's, what, is it a mist? Um, that I don't have, but I am so happy. And this is 87, the smell, let's smell. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, that's gonna be like my Aussie scent. Like I'm gonna remember Australia by that smell, which I love. I love bringing like a new mist, like a new spray or a new smell. So you remember that holiday by it. Oh, delicious. My headphones are charging, girlies. I feel like that's, I feel, well, I feel, no, wait, there's more hair products, hair products, girls. And am I bringing the Dyson Air Wrap and Dyson Air Straight? Are they going to work over there? I don't know. Oh, fuck. This is so stressful. So, Jerf Avenue sent me their styling products, and they're genuinely the most gorgeous products ever. The Breezy Styling Mist is amazing for literally your hair won't move, but it's not heavy, but your hair will stick in the exact way you style it. And then the On The Go Styling Gel is stunning for, like, kind of flattening any frizz or slicking back your hair. I need them with me. I'm bringing my Redken shampoo because I need that while I'm there. I'm bringing K18. I'm not bringing a conditioner. I just love K18 instead of a conditioner. I am bringing the Color Wow Extreme Strength Dream Coat as well. I feel like, especially in the heat, I'm gonna need that. And you use a lot of it. So I'm gonna go through it, you know? And then the Olaplex number no. seven oil. That's like my heat protectant. I won't run out. No, that'll do me. That'll do me. That'll be fine. So that's hair. I feel like I'm still missing things, but okay, I better stop because this just feels this just feels crazy. But this is my like hot girl haul. Like this is my hot girl products, it girl products, and especially like the travel edition of it all. So it feels so overwhelming, but you know I love products. I'm obsessed. And I'll probably do a load of shopping over there of hauls because chemist warehouse, there's all this stuff I ah, there's all this 
all these shops I can't wait to go to. So much clothes as well. I can't wait to buy Kooky. Uh, there's all these boutiques that look amazing. Any recommendations, leave them below for me. Girlies, I better go. I just feel like that was so overwhelming. Okay, girlies, that felt chaotic. This whole this whole travel, like, it feels chaotic. And and we haven't even, like, gone to the airport yet. I don't know. Not that, not in a bad way. Like, chaos in the best way. Like, I'm so excited. And I'm itching to get going. But like the, the the state of the apartment, like I just I just can't cope. Um because the packing and shit's everywhere and anyway, okay girlies, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna love you and leave you. What time is it? Okay, yeah, okay, I gotta go. I love you so much. The next vloggy vlog, the next video is gonna be Oz. Ah! I'm so excited. Okay, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. You mean the world to me. I see you in my likes, subscribes, and comments. Love and appreciate you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Love you. Bye.